Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how you can generate a recovery key on your iPhone or iPad. For those unfamiliar with two-factor authentication and an Apple device, you have the option to generate a recovery key to help improve account security. If you need to reset your password, you can then use your recovery key to regain access to your Apple ID. It's worth pointing out that a recovery key is a randomly generated 28 character code that you can use to help reset your password or regain access to your Apple ID. While it's not required, using a recovery key improves the security of your account by putting you in control of resetting your password. Creating a recovery key turns off account recovery. Account recovery is a process that would otherwise help you get back into your Apple ID account when you don't have enough information to reset your password. While using a recovery key is more secure but it means that you are responsible for maintaining access to your trusted devices and your recovery key. If you happen to lose both of these items, you could be locked out of your account permanently. With that in mind, it's important to keep your recovery key in a safe place. You might want to give a copy of your recovery key to a family member or keep copies in more than one place. That way you always have access to your recovery key when you need it. That all being said, let me show you how to create a recovery key on your iPhone or iPad. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. To begin with steps loan settings app on your iPhone or iPad, then you have to tap on your profile and select password and security. You might need to enter your Apple ID password, then tap on recovery key. After that, slide to turn on recovery key. Next up, tap use recovery key and enter your device passcode. Up next, write down your recovery key and keep it in a safe place. Finally, confirm your recovery key by entering it on the next screen. That's pretty much it. So that's the way you can create a recovery key on your iPhone or iPad. If you ever happen to forget your Apple ID password, you can try to regain access using your trusted device protected by a passcode. Or you can use your recovery key, a trusted phone number and an Apple device to reset your password. Make sure the device is running iOS 11 or later or macOS high Sierra or later and be sure to enter the complete recovery key including uppercase letters and hyphens. If you ever want to stop using a recovery key follow the same steps above and then slide to turn off recovery key on your device. That's pretty much it. Hopefully you have found this guide helpful. Now that you know how it works make the most of it to enhance the security of your Apple ID and I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks. Till then have a great time. Bye-bye.